All right, so with my, my train assembled, it's time to attach my three pieces of track as well as put the train itself on top of that track. First thing I'm gonna do is attach my track pieces. To do that, I'm gonna use constraint and flush. I want to align one side with the same side of another piece and hit apply. I'm gonna click the top and the top of another piece and hit apply. Right now these are on top of each other, so I'm gonna separate them a little bit. Constraint, now use my mate constraint and have this surface touch this surface and apply. These two are now stuck together. I'm gonna do the same thing to this piece. Constraint, flush. I want this surface to flush with this surface. Hit apply. I need the top with the top. Hit apply. I'm gonna separate them a little bit so that I can do a constraint. Mate and grab this entire surface with this entire surface and hit apply. All right now these three pieces are connected. It's now time to attach it to the track itself. First thing I'm gonna do is align uh, the inside or the outside of my wheel to the inside of the track. So I'm gonna click constraint. I'm gonna do it off my back wheel. The back wheel has a flat side. So I'm gonna grab that flat side and constrain it to the inside, right, so here's my train. I'm gonna constrain it to the inside of my train track and hit apply. When I look at it from the back now, if I bring this up, you can see that they are touching. I need to offset that space in here by 0 0.05. To do that, I'm gonna click on that wheel it highlights along my left hand side. If I click this plus, I can find that constraint. This was the constraint I just added. If I double click on it, I can type in 0 .05. And now it's offset that distance. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is attach the top of my track to the underside of my train. I'm gonna click constraint, leave it on mate, top of my track, to the underside of my train and hit apply. If I look at it from the back, you can see they are touching. Similar to before, I need to find that constraint and offset it. So I'm gonna click on my train. There's my train body. There's that constraint that I just added. If I double click on it, it's 0.375. And that has offset my train from the track. 